Today I'm talking about print then cut and I wanted to do a quick screen share to show you a few of the um, idiosyncrasies with the print then cut in Cricut Design Space. So there's two ways that I like to do my print then cut. It's um, by using an SVG or by using um, a PNG. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So I'm in Design Space already. I'm just going to hit upload and I've already uploaded the two images but I'll show you how to do them. Just go to upload, hit browse, and then apparently my, and then you can either do the PNG or the SVG. So I'm gonna just start with the SVG, which you can get both of these files on my blog in the blog post. And this is what it will look like. And then you just hit save. So your SVG goes in pretty smoothly and it you can see I've already done it. it. It's really quick and easy. The SVG is my favorite way to do it because it's just super easy. But sometimes it's a little bit too big that way. So then it comes in like this. You can resize it um, just by dragging the arrows, obviously. For print then cut, it has to be smaller than the a standard size of um, paper plus the square around it. Um, so it'll tell you if it's too big. Um, but what you're gonna do to make an SVG print then cut is you're just gonna select the whole thing and then you're just gonna flatten it. And you'll see over here it says cut, print, and it's already all set to go. So I'll show you if it's too big since we have it set to print then cut and I hit make it see it tells you it's too large because that it has to like I said it has to be able to fit onto a piece of paper that goes into your printer for this image to print so you're going to want to make it less um, less than the size and then you'll hit make it and it'll go ahead and be ready um, and then you'll see if you've recently if you're new to print and cut this won't matter to you because you probably have never calibrated your machine but if you have calibrated your machine for print and cut in the past you're going to have to do some work because they just did an update but if you haven't it won't matter don't worry about it the new print and cut looks like this it's got a box you might be used to like some registration marks um it might look a little it looked a little different before but now it's just got a black box around your um image so you want to just set everything. You can make more than one copy if you need to. Then you're going to hit continue. I just wanted to show you one more thing. When you're, you will want to send to the printer here to print. And I want you to turn this bleed on. Um, the bleed makes, um, makes a colored outline of your image basically so that when it cuts, you're, you don't have any white. It's going to be all um, the right color. So just I want you to turn that bleed on and then print and you're set to go. I'm going to go back to the beginning um, to show you how to do a PNG because it's just a little bit different. So we're going to take that guy out. Then we're going to upload. I'm going to use this same one that I've already done, but I'm going to just do it again. And this is my PNG here. A PNG, if you don't already know, is just it means it has a plain background so it's just the image you want with no background um, that's why it's got these marks as a, compared to like a JPEG would come in with a white background so that's the difference so I I'm just gonna do you can select complex because this one's complex we don't need to erase anything because it's a PNG then you're gonna hit continue now you're gonna see here it says save as a cut image which is gonna just take out all of your color or you can save it here as a print then cut image, which is gonna tell it to keep all this color but cut around these here. So I'm just gonna select that and hit save. And it's gonna work on it because it takes a second and then you're ready to just insert the image. So it was inserted correctly. You can make it bigger or smaller as you need to, and then you follow all the same steps that we just did. So what you need to know is that when your printer prints, it's gonna print all of these, and then it's gonna cut around each letter. If you didn't want it to cut around each letter, you would need to import the JPEG so that it has the white background, then it will just cut around the background square. So that's everything 
that you need to know right now about uploading your images um, into Cricut Design Space for print then cut.